as it's going to get without a complete and total rebuild. I have replaced 18 resistors. Um, oh gosh. Somewhere between 17 and 20 capacitors. Tweaked this, tuned that, fixed solder connections here and there and all over the place. <laughs> it's just been a lot of work. Um, but you know, it's, it's functional. I've made contacts on it. I've been told that the audio is good. Um, it's uh, it does drift a little bit, but you know it's what it's known for. The uh, model 753, they used to call it the 753, but uh, it's working. Another update on the ICO. We're done with the major electronic work on the radio. Uh, cosmetic work is now uh, in progress. I'll get a better view of the front panel because I. Uh, I painted the uh, white stripes so the indicators on those knobs with some model paint and they look really nice. But right now I'm working on uh, the cases and this is the power supply. It did have a really bad dent in the top originally around here somewhere which I pounded out. And then I went down to Lowe's and you can get paint made that matches. Uh, so they, uh, they sampled the color on the case and they gave me some acrylic paint that matches it. It's a semi-gloss so it's just got a little bit of a shine to it but you can see that looks really nice uh, I've cleaned up the front panel of it really well so it's uh, it's looking almost new the radio well, I've got its chassis over on my paint uh, shelf just a moment and we'll go take a look at that so here we are at the paint station <laughs> otherwise known as the clothes dryer uh, and this is the uh, radios case and you can probably see there's a, a few little scratches here and there, so I decided I'll just go ahead and and we'll sand and paint the whole case. Got my can of matched paint here, and they uh, they match the color. On the back of the radio, there was a label that indicated what the uh, different connectors and jacks were, and it was torn and yellowed and peeling at the corners. And there's another scratch up there, right there. Um, so I'm in the process of getting the glue off of there and I'm going to sand the case. The old label was shot. So what I did was I sat down in my uh, illustration software and I made a new one. So there's the uh, the new label. And uh, you can see it's got a little bit of a gloss to it. Uh, a trick to uh, home lamination. Packing tape after you print out your uh, your label carefully spread some packing tape across it nice and smooth and using a rolling pin or something make sure you've got no air bubbles no creases and uh, you've got a nice laminated label so I'll do the same on the back because I'm going to spray on a little 3M adhesive photo adhesive a light dusting of that and this will just right across the back of the case after the paint dries and she'll look all new. So that's the last bit of work on this thing, the cosmetic work. Once this is uh, painted and the paint's dried and the label's on, I'll give you a walk around under good light of the whole radio and you can see the result and the front panel and the whole bit. And then it'll be into the box and uh, back to its owner. There's the old label and the new label. I have the cabinet has been painted. You can see that's a nice clean fresh coat of paint. And I've just reassembled it. Cabinet really looks slick with the fresh paint. Let's flip her around and take a look at the front. There she is, all dressed up. Looking really good. And the knobs, let me show you a detail here. Uh, 
I took some uh, white model paint and a small brush and I painted in the uh, indicator with white so the knobs really pop now. I got a nice clean indicator. And the radio works pretty well. Well enough anyway. I finished uh, putting a high impedance element in the microphone that's going with it. So let's uh, hook it up and power it up. and. Uh, Yeah, I know. I've been 